Hello everyone, welcome back to BJG Biker. Today we're gonna do a bike check with my two of my favorite bikes, which are my Track Marlin 5s. Let's check it out. We got history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. Thinking about what could have happened or what could have been. Finally, your face, I know it, that a sight to see. Take my time, then take your clothes off one more time, maybe. Acting like you don't be calling. My feelings all aside, don't know what to make it right. Pictures popping on my mind. All these occasions just work it out with me. I don't think it hurts to give another try on it. We got history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. Thinking about what could have happened. All right, let's start. So, for today, uh, we're gonna have a bike check and discuss to you what are some of the upgrades that I did for my Trek Marlin 5s. As you can see, I have two Trek Marlin 5s. One has a medium size frame and the other one has a small frame. The one on the right side has a 29 uh, inch wheels and the other one is a 27.5 with a small frame. Both frames are using an alpha silver aluminum frame. Why do I have two Trek Marlin 5s? The other one is for my girlfriend and the other one is for myself. As you can see, uh, there are some upgrades that I did for both bikes, but let's start with my black lithium gray. Uh, this bike already has a dropper seat post, but this is just a temporary dropper seat post. It is from Zoom. It works uh, pretty well and something that I would upgrade in the future, but for the meantime, I am using that uh, dropper seat post. It also has a zoom lever same as my other Trek model 5 for this one for the black lithium gray I have upgraded the drivetrain to a Shimano Dior 10 speed drivetrain as you can see uh, it's actually similar to the drivetrain of the Trek Marlin 6 and Trek Marlin 7 for 2022 but what's good about this one is that it has a 32T crank with a Haltech bottom bracket. There you go. So I've changed the hubs to a, as you can see here, coal hubs. Very nice hub sound. It's very loud and it's very nice. Now for this bike, I still have not upgraded the fork until now, but I am planning to change it with a RockShox Judy probably or probably an SR Center XCR or uh, probably a Manitou um, Reverse Arc uh, front fork suspension. Both bikes have the same mod guard. I haven't changed the wheel set yet. It still uses a the Bontrager um, connection rims and XR2 comp tires. Someday I plan to upgrade both bikes with a 2.3 Maxxis Ardent Race. Let's see. Hopefully budget will work. And for my other Trek Marlin 5, as you all know, my Trek Marlin 5 is using a SRAM Eagle Essex drivetrain. 12 speed with a dub SRAM bottom bracket also hollow tech now what I did is that I have upgraded the dropper seat post to a fast ace dropper post it works pretty well and it's it looks clean now compared to before what I did is that I routed the, the cable semi external so it is routed internally on the bottom tube all the way to the seat tube but on the seat tube it's already external the reason why is because I don't want to drill any hole on the frame because of the lifetime warranty. So you can see I am using an SR Center Epicson air suspension fork. I have already, already adjusted it to 120 millimeters of travel, but I am planning to upgrade it to a 130 or adjust it to a 130 millimeters of travel so that the setup's more off like a down country bike. What's good about this fork is that 
this fork is built for aggressive uh, trails it has a rebound adjustment and as we all know the hobs that I'm using for this bike is the Labichi hobs it fits a 12 speed cassette it goes from straight to tapered so this fork is a tapered fork even if my uh, um, frame is non tapered works pretty well don't have any issues as long as you're using the right um, he headset or adapter now in the future hopefully I, I will create both bikes with a 2.3 maxis tire so that it performs well on the trails I apologize for the wind it's very cold here <laughs> For the meantime anyway guys thank you so much for watching and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time